All right, Python on hardware time. Okay, I'm gonna start with some interesting news and then, you know, big news in, in our world. So um, this might be a trend um, and you can check out the newsletter because we kind of cover all the things that go on with MicroPython, CircuitPython, Python on hardware, Python on like Raspberry Pis. If it's Python and runs on something, it's probably in our newsletter. But MicroPython is ending their forums and they're migrating to GitHub discussions. That's interesting. It is interesting. So here's some of the features that they say that will be uh, over there. It's much, much lighter integration with the development process, which is all hosted on GitHub anyways. They can move discussions to from issues as well as tag uh, members for reference and PRs and issues. GitHub discussions has many features for posts and replies. Emoji responses, accept and answers, threaded replies, etc. Uh, GitHub discussions use much more familiar markdown syntax for writing posts, especially for code snippets, which all support syntax highlighting, less maintenance for the MicroPython team, more time to work on features, easier account sign up, and many people who already use GitHub, uh, so they don't need to do an account. So yeah, interesting. So we'll see. Is this the beginning of where a lot of open source discussions are going to live? Who knows? I mean, I think one thing that's interesting is, is you know, and, and I want to show the exception, is that for MicroPython, I mean, they have a um, GitHub organization, but they really only have one GitHub repo, which is the MicroPython repo. And I think that makes it a little easier for them to have all the discussion in one place. Because it's like, if you have a one repo or one project project, it's a lot different than if you are somebody like us, Adafruit, where we have like literally hundreds or thousands of products and we have to like support and have discussions and people need tech support help and we need to have other people we need to be able to like edit and, and move and yeah. whatever. And you know, yes, there, I do see some benefit in it, but I think if you're, if you're a one product, um, if you're one product or one project organization, then yes, I think yeah. GitHub discussions make sense. So we'll see what happens because there's a lot of open source <laughs> entities out there and open source projects. If if GitHub's discussions are going to uh, move things away from mailing lists or forums, or there's Gitter, there's uh, mailing Slack. lists are definitely like you know there are some mailing lists, but I don't I don't see people creating mailing lists yeah. as much anymore. So we'll we'll see what happens. And then a lot of folks really like Discord, real time discussions on things. It's just so interesting, you know, I, it, it's not that this is Substack, but you know, there is this thing of like, oh, you subscribe and you pay to comment. And yeah. I could see that being a thing too in the future where yeah. you have to be a member in order to be part of a discussion because you, maintaining discussions is also, it's, yeah. a, it's a mental load. So we'll see, this is interesting. You know, we're, we're gonna kind of watch uh, and learn. And uh, you know, we already do a lot of stuff on GitHub. Like I, I kind of feel like you have to be, you have to have a presence in all parts of the matrix. Yeah. <laughs> and so like wherever, wherever people are most comfortable interacting with you, um, that's one of the things that we, that we try to do. Um, anyways, so um, in addition to all of that type of news and more keeping tabs on uh, trends in the community and open source, weekly video shows, all the new hardware, you're probably saying, boy, this is like the best Python on hardware newsletter. How many have have been uh, sent out? 200, congratulations everybody Yay. on the CircuitPython team. We are now up to the 200th Python on Microcontrollers newsletter. I think it's the biggest, most popular Python on hardware newsletter out there. Um, I think it's one of the only ones. So it's always safe to say that. And um, special thanks to Anne and all the contributors. Um, it used to be my old job doing this, but uh, one of the cool things is we get to hire and work with cool people in the community that eventually end up working in Adafruit and they get to take over these things. So great work, Anne, um, with all the newsletters. We're trying to get to about 10,000 subscribers. We have uh, over 9,000, but that's one of the goals that we have for this year. So Subscribe, tell you your could, friends. Yeah, delivers every single week, no spam. We don't harvest your email. There's no sales, no ads. It's not sponsored, nothing. Um, Adafruitdaily.com, it's a completely separate website because we didn't ever want any one store account to have anything to do with a newsletter where it was just information like this. So that is our vibe.